Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my latest video for Finaber. Today I will be creating a gorgeous spring decor. <laughs> for that, I'm using shutters which were part of the set uh, MDF window with the shutters, but I'm using only the shutters and this will be the base of my project. The shutters are separated, so the first step is to glue them together and for that I'm using gel medium. I applied a little bit of gel on one of the shutter. I'm joining them in the middle so they will create one piece. I dried it for a while and then I put them upside down and remove the excess of the gel from the other side as well and let it dry. Then I want to apply a coat of, ge of gesso but <laughs> while I was doing that I changed my um, vision from a thick layer of the gesso to a really thin one. I thought I want to create like a washed um, effect so I took a wipe and I'm removing most, most of the gesso I applied. So if you will be doing that project, just add a little bit of gesso. And then I used brush, very dry brush, just to add a little bit more gesso here and there. And I really like that effect. I created some uh, resin elements uh, using Finaber molds. The big white frame, I used white resin for that and I won't be painting uh, it. And then I used the beige color resin for other elements and these I'm going to paint in different colors. So first I will apply a thin layer of gesso and then I will use the paint on top of that. But of course you have to let it dry first. When the shutters are dry you can start adding embellishments. First I will add the large white frame and I'm using gel medium for that and I will wait for, for it to dry and in the meantime I'm going to paint the other elements. For those resin uh, pieces I'm using liquid acrylics, uh, burnt sienna, <laughs> I don't know how to actually pronounce it but I think like I just said, I really like that color. It's a very uh, warm, very beautiful shade of brown and also avocado I think it's called the green one I need to check that but I will provide the links below the video so for the moth I want to have the edges of the wings much darker than the center of my insect I will first paint it with that green paint and then at the end of the video I will add a, quite a lot of white gesso to it to achieve the the effect I'm planning, like I said, much lighter in the center and then darker on the edges of the wings. And when my pieces uh, are drying, I'm just creating my composition. I don't have many elements today. I have some handmade flowers and die cut leaves. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's almost it. I have a piece of cheesecloth and um, string of like berries and and then I will also use uh, micro beads at the end of the video.
I'm also adding small pieces of moss and then I will create the floral composition. The flowers will go from the right top corner to the left bottom corner. I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my white frame. I'm sorry for sticking <laughs> my head into into your view, but I <laughs> I really want to uh, be sure that I didn't add too much color. Just here and there small amounts of paint. One of the last elements to add is our string bows. I actually my string is wired. It's it's not super easy to work with it. It's quite stiff, <laughs> but I like uh, I like it because you can give it a shape and it will keep that shape. So this is a big advantage of that string. And I'm also going to add two plastic. Um, how you can call it like artificial leaves <laughs> just to add more interest to my project and then also a quite large bit on top of the um, on top of the project like the same like you would probably add to a tag with a string on the top of the project I'm adding white gesso here and there and like I said I'm making my moth much lighter and this will be it. I really like how it uh, turned out. I love the color combination here and um, it's a cute little project which I'm going to keep in my house. Uh, perfect home decor for spring. So that will be it. I want to thank you very, very much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Take care. Have a lovely creative day. Bye bye.